The problem at hand is Parnelli Jones' new turbine-powered car. Engineered and built over a two-year period by the Granatelli brothers, it is now a question of whether the car and its power plant fit into the existing framework of rule specifications. When we first saw the turbo was uh-oh, because we knew it was not regulated. And uh, that was very clever of Andy Granatelli to do that. It was still an unknown. The fact that it didn't make any noise uh, was, I think, uh, that wrote it off as far as I was concerned. And to have uh, something that's uh, a, a turbine, uh, you know, just a little bit of going, it, it didn't, it ruined it. Parnelli qualified sixth. Uh, he was accused in practice throughout the month of sandbagging, which has been, uh, you know, never show them everything that you've got. We accused him of sandbagging and all the whole uh, thing, which uh, I think was true. You know, I had no reason to sandbag. Nobody really appreciated how well it handles, so when they dropped the green flag, I said, I'm going to show them how good it handles. And John Cox started in front of me, and when he pulled off the end, I just stuck it up in the gray and drove all around everybody but Mario. He went by me on the back straightaway, and uh... <laughs> I mean, it was just like I was standing still, and I figured, uh oh, this is going to be a long day. Parnelli came by, and you looked up the straightaway, where is everybody? Because he had this huge lead. He comes by, and he, as he came down, he took one, the right hand off the wheel, and he went like that. I'll never forget that, as if to say, it's perfect, you know, and then uh, I'll see you in victory lane. And I knew the only thing I could do was try to run as hard as I could all day and hope something happened to him and thank God it did. Something has happened to the lead car. I don't know what it can be. Parnelli Jones is coasting, coming around the number four turn. Parnelli Jones is coasting to a stop, coming around the number four turn. And I was just, I mean, stroking it, and all of a sudden it just, like it went into neutral. And with three and a half laps to go, and uh, I just coasted into the pits, and, and it was all over. One lap to go. A.J. Foyt takes the white flag. I had a funny feeling. I was lapping some cars going down the back straightaway. And for some reason, I backed off. I can't tell you why. And I backed off. I said, man, I got this thing one. I don't want to blow it. And then when I turn around and go through three and I come off of four, cars are going all over. I said, oh, my gosh. Did he get through? Did he get through? all the smoke. I couldn't see nothing. So I pulled my car down in second gear and I kind of scooted down the seat and held on hard. I said, whoever I hit, I'm going to try to drive them past the start finish line. And when it broke out in the clear, I said, I can't believe what I'm looking at. Because I knew I had to hit somebody. But thank God I didn't hit nobody. A.J. Foyt will win the Indianapolis 500 in an incredible, thrilling finish. 